Hey everyone, this is Mike Chi uh, for your Saturday morning update. I've gotten a few requests to get 480p working with the RetroTINK component video output, and I figured out the timings. So like the 240p mode, it's running at an ultra-wide resolution of 1920, but I've modified the vertical um, timing so that it's outputting 480p progressive scan. Now, I'm going to post the timing information in the comments on the website, so just copy that over into your boot uh, into the boot um, config.txt file of your image. Once you put that in, you can start up your Raspberry Pi and connect that to your HGTV. It should boot up without any other modifications, but the first thing you'll see is that the image is taking up half the screen, which makes sense because the image was configured to run at 240p. That's pretty easy to fix. All you need to do is go to settings, go to video, and go down to custom aspect ratio height. I'm going to expand that to 480, and that should make the image fill up the whole screen. You're going to need to do this on a per core basis, and as before, some cores, depending on how they handle overscan, are going to require 480, or if their native output is 224, then you should set the uh, aspect ratio height to 448. You'll know that you're at the right setting when it snaps to um, the 2x indication uh, on the right hand side, which tells you that you're at an inter integer scaling ratio. So that's pretty simple, and like before, you can adjust the offsets uh, to center the image to your liking, and then save that um, for your core um, as, with the previous as with the previous video. That's pretty much all you need, and um, now you can get this working with 480p. So thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.